Hello and welcome to Wednesday Hump Day Lunch Break Live. Hope you're enjoying your day. Hey, it is almost Friday, so be thankful for that. I am just uh, actually getting my iPad launched here so I can see everyone's comments. Okay. So let me know that you're here. Say hi. Let me know where you're from and what you're having for lunch today. Love to know. Today we're going to be featuring a pretty to wow um, card, cards, I should say. And it's going to feature our cheerful basket stamp set and bundle. So here's the cheerful basket stamp set. And I'm also going to pull in the amazing year stamp set. I love being able to combine um, stamp sets together to make some really fun cards. And while I'm just waiting for everyone to join here, I am just going to go ahead and share with you that today is the last day for our, here we go. Today is the last day to sign up for the Cheerful Baskets class to go. So let me pull that out really quick. Again, just waiting for people to jump on here. And so these are the cards that will be featured in that class. There are five cards and a 3D element. It is a little dimensional holder. Really cute. So that is, those are your projects in our class to go. Again, today is the last day to sign up for that. And it, there is a link on my page here so uh, you can sign up for it. If you click on the link, it will take you to the page with all the information on it, and it will tell you the cost and what you get with your kit. So, yep, um, I'll be putting in the order tomorrow, so make sure if you're interested in this class that you go ahead and sign up today. All right, let me bring in the cards that we're going to be making today. Just need to put those aside. And we're going to go, like I said, using these two stamp sets from Pretty to Wow. Really easy, using the same supplies from our Pretty card in our Wow card. And we're just going to add a couple more supplies in there. So let me pull in what I need for our first card here. And I have a piece of Calypso Coral. This is 8.5 by 5.5. And I'm just going to fold it right in half. You can score it. It's scored at four and a quarter. Let's just bring in my bone folder here and give it a good crease. Then I have a piece of designer series paper. Now this is found in our Happy Forest Friends designer series paper. So that is uh, 12 by 12 paper. And there's lots of fun different designs in here. And it coordinates with the um, <sighs> Happier Than Happy stamp set and bundle. It's a really fun, fun designer series paper. You can do a lot with it. All right, but we're going to be using this Calypso and Poppy. Is it Poppy? Let me see. No, it's Calypso Coral. So that is our future color. I have a piece of thick basic white. Uh, this measures three by four inches, I think. I forgot to write my measurements down. Three by... That four and a quarter. And I'm using the thick because we're going to be using our Stampin' Blends. So I want to make sure I have a nice thick paper um, to do my blending with. It just seems to work a little bit better when you're using your thick white. And then I have a piece of basic white for the inside of our card. So that will be right in there. I also have a piece of crumb cake. And this is just a scrap because we are going to stamp our basket on there. So let's go ahead. Let's pull in the supplies that we need to do our stamping here. And what did I just do with that piece here? So I'm going to start with, let's start with our basket here. And I'm going to use our soft suede stamp pad. And we're going to use this handy dandy little basket here. I'm going to get a block. And on this first card, I'm not going to be using any die cutting. I'm simply using just the stamps, just the way they are. All right. We've got that one. Let me just clean my stamp pad. That one clean. All right. And the next thing I'm going to do is we'll put this aside. We're going to be cutting that in just a moment. I'm going to bring in my black memento pad and I'm going to bring in my um, 
thick white. Now, what I want to do here is I have a piece of masking paper that I actually stamped my basket on, and I'm going to put that right on my cardstock here, right in front, just like that, all right? Because the next thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to make that a little straighter, go back on there and make that basket straight. That's pretty good. I'm going to bring in my little flower bouquet from the Amazing Year stamp set. Hopefully we were able to get the stamp set when it was on sale last week. And we're going to go ahead. I'm just going to, I'm really not going to be stamping my stems. And I really don't want that tag. I just want the flower bunch there. So I'm just going to take my stamp pad here. And I'm going to ink that up. And it's okay if I get a little bit lower because I'm going to be stamping right over that masking paper. Now our masking paper comes in a package. And I believe it's on special this week uh, for the weekly deals. So it comes <clears throat> in five by seven sheets. There's 12 sheets. And it's like, um, it's, it's like a, it's like a post-it note. But instead of post-it notes only having that little top portion be sticky, this whole thing is sticky. So it really helps when you are doing a masking technique. And this is a masking technique right here. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp my flowers. Right there. Just like that. Now when I pull this off, I don't have any image below there. So that's what I want to have. I'm going to put my little masked image back in there. And we'll put this aside. We'll be needing that later. Clean, clean it real quick here. And I'm going to bring in my blends. Now I've done a little bit of coloring ahead of time. Let's see. Did I do it on this one? No. All right, so I'm going to show you how I color these in. So I'm taking my Calypso Coral, both my light and dark, and I'm going to go ahead and start coloring in here. So I'll do this kind of quick. And I'm just adding really some color to where the black lines are in my image, giving it a little bit of depth in some places. So I'm just giving this... Set a little color. Yeah, that's right here. And again, this is my darker one. It doesn't matter if you start with your dark or your light. It's totally up to you what your preferences. And I'm going to be blending it together. All right. So now I'm going to bring in my light Calypso Coral. And I'm just going to start pulling in that dark into my white areas. So blend together. Okay, these are alcohol based. That's why you want to use your black memento pad. If you use a stage on, it will smear. So when you're using your blends because they're alcohol based, you need to use the memento pad. All right, I'm almost done coloring this one. And now we're just going to color our, oops, that one over here. We're going to color our leaves. And I just did this really quick. I would probably take a little more time to blend that in together. Maybe go back and add a little bit more. Um, Yeah, a little bit of the darker just to give it a little more dimension but for the sake of the video we're just going to do that so now i'm going to take in i'm going to zoom in just a little bit here so you can see the coloring that i'm doing i'm going to take my old olive now and i'm not completely coloring the leaves i'm basically just putting in some lines because i'm going to come back with my light old olive and blend that all together And this part down here is going to be covered, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Let's pull this in, and we'll go ahead and... Okay, hello Beth. How are you today? i do this really quick. Again, I'm doing this super quick because I just want this video to be um, quick, little entertainment for your lunch hour. I like to keep these videos a little shorter than my normal ones. So home day lunch break live is every Wednesday during lunch during my lunch. All right, so now I've got that colored. Now I need to add my sentiment. So I'm going to bring back in my uh, soft suede, and I'm going to pull in the sentiment that says you fill my day with happiness. 
So let's go ahead and grab my block here. And I'm going to stamp this right across the top. Make sure I have my stamp going in the right direction. There we go. Clean that off. This card is almost done. We're going to take our stamped image here that we did, and we're going to go ahead and fussy cut that out. I just need to see what I did with my scissors. I don't know what I did with them. Oh, well, they had them earlier. Okay, I guess I'll use this one. All right. Oh, there they are. Found them. I have one scissors dedicated for paper and one for ribbon. So that's why I was looking for my paper ones. All right, because the paper tends to dull your scissors. So you want to make sure that you're using a really sharp one when you're cutting ribbon. All right, so I'm just trimming this out. It's actually very fast to cut out. You could um, bring in some blends here and add some coloring to give it a little more dimension as well. We're not going to do that. We're just going to leave it just like it is. I am going to bring in my dark coral here and I'm going to color in the handle on my basket just like that. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just put this right on front. I'm not going to use any dimensionals. I'm just going to use my seal. And I'm going to put that right to the bottom of the flowers there, just like that. Isn't that cute? Well, not cute. It's pretty. It is pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, and now we're just going to assemble our guard. So this is a nice, quick card. And I really like when I have a simple design or a quick design, and I can actually step it up by just adding a few more things. So once we get this all on... And I'm not even using dimensionals on this card. I know it's a shock. It's okay, though. It'll still turn out really cute. All right. So that is our first card. This is our pretty card. And now let's go to our wow card. So I've done a little bit of prep ahead of time so that we don't have to watch me do everything. So again, eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter, and just burnishing it. I have my um, <clears throat> same designer series paper. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and adhere that down. Just going to center that right on there. Now, next thing I did is I couldn't decide if I wanted to use petal pink or um, white. So I think what we'll do is we're going to assemble our flower and everything else like that. And then right before I adhere everything, I'm going to figure out which I'm going to use. So what I've done is I'm going to stamp a another basket here using my soft suede we're going to be die cutting this time ooh, ooh. missed my shirt and everything ooh, just lucky on that one all right so there we go Put that aside i'm going to stamp my flower we are going to fussy cut this one because there's no dies with this one and this time when I mount it I want to make sure I have that tag on there because I do want to um, use that tag in the project so let me just get a piece of white here let's just use this one I don't know where my other piece went here it is there's my scrap all right grab our black memento in again and this time I'm just going to ink up pretty much the whole thing Stamp it right here. I'm going to grab my scrap piece of paper in. I don't want to stamp on my desktop there. All right. Okay. And now I'm going to color that flower in the same way I did the first card. And let's scoot out a little bit again. Okay. So by the magic of TV, I already have it colored. I fussy cut it out. And I also cut my little tag out. So I've done those two pieces already. Now I'm going to run this through the die cut machine. When I run this through the die cut machine, I'm going to use my <coughs> full basket dies. And I'll just see where I put them. Here it is. Okay. 
Now I'm going to use this one. Now this one cuts three different pieces. So I'm going to be just putting that right on here, running that through. I'm going to cut my basket out just like that. All right. I'm going to use my mini die cut machine. Oh, there's one thing I forgot to stamp. I didn't stamp my little cat. So we'll go ahead and bring the cat in here. And I'm going to stamp that with black memento as well. And I'm stamping it on so saffron cardstock. So that way I didn't have to color it or anything else like that. Just a quick way to use your stamps. And I'll get that stamped on there. All right. There we go. Isn't that cat cute? Look at it. It's just adorable. All right. Yeah, I just need to get my stamp clean here. It doesn't want to get clean. All right, we'll put that back in there. Cover that up. And again, ran that through the die cut machine, and this is how my cat looks. All right, I do have my pieces here, so let me get those all pulled out. I had my pieces here. I think I picked them up. Hold on for just a minute, because I think they just got hit in here. I'm going to show you how to color your ribbon. And what do I need? Sorry, I just need to pick my pieces because I've got one piece. <laughs> I don't know where the other two pieces went. Oh, here there. It just slid under. Okay, so we've got our little three pieces here. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out this little handle. So we'll put that aside. Now, the trick to cutting out this little handle is I have a piece of silver foil. But this is really actually very hard to glue onto your project. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of my um, adhesive sheets. So I'm just going to take a piece of adhesive sheet and put it right on there. I'm just going to use this little on here. All right. Let's just get that torn off. So one, one side will stick to your paper. And if I can get it peeled apart here. Okay, problems with my nails today. There we go. There we go, got it started. All right. So I've got my sheet right here. And we're just going to put it right here. All right. So I'm going to bring in my die cut machine. I'm going to show you what some of this looks like. So I've got my, mini, my little mini die cut machine. And <clears throat> let's go ahead and grab that here. So now when I'm doing this, I'm just going to layer this right on. Okay, my fingers are really sticky now. Right here. Alright, so let's get on there. Come on. There we go. Now that adhesive, because I just, I didn't do the full sheet here. Normally I would cut a piece that's as big as my paper that I'm cutting. This will be good enough for now. Okay, the other thing I did was I ran my labels here through the die, the die cut machine using an embossing folder. So let me just poke this out. I'm going to show you what I did there. And I used this stripes and splatters embossing folder. So these will fit in my mini die cut machine. And it is a 3D. We're going to be using our stripes one. I die cut using the uh, seasonal labels. So here is our seasonal labels here. Just pick some of this stuff up so it's out of the way. I used our seasonal label dies. So I did this large one. I die cut my cardstock first. And then after I die cut it, I went ahead and just put this piece right inside. And I ran it through the die cut machine with my um, little folders. So I ran that through, and then when, once I run that through, it comes out all embossed. All right. Move those out of the way. Put this back. I'm gonna put this other one back too because I will lose this if I don't. All right. So now, again, by the magic of TV, I've got my basket cut. 
I've got my pieces of my basket. I've got my handle right here. I've got my flowers, my cat, and my little tag. Now, if you don't have a die cut machine, you could easily fussy cut that one out. But the other ones, I mean, you can you can cut all these out by hand. Just takes a little takes a little time. That's all. It's not difficult. Okay. Um, what I want to do now is just figure out: Do I want to go on white like this, or do I want to go on the petal pink? I think I'm going to do this one on white, so we have a little difference there to look at. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and peel off that adhesive. Okay, if I can peel it off. All right. I think I missed it. <laughs> I think I did miss it. So what I'm going to, oh, here it is. I didn't, it's there. There we, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to put this right on my basket. No one's going to notice that it shows right there because we're going to do that. So we're not going to worry about that. That will be put right there. In fact, let's just go ahead and do that now. I'm going to go ahead and pull in my mini dimensionals here. And I'm just going to put one right there. And put that right here. Okay, just like that. Okay, I'm going to put some, grab my regular dimensionals. I'm going to put some in the back here. Right. I don't want to go all the way to the top because this is going to stick behind there. So we'll put some dimensionals on this one as well. There we go. And now let's just take our embossed piece of cardstock here. And we're going to put that right on the middle of our card. Just center that right on there. All right. We're going to grab our little basket here. And we'll set that right here. We'll grab our flowers. Now, notice I didn't put any um, dimension right here. That's because I'm going to be tying a bow and tucking that right behind there. So I'm just going to put this right there. Oh, I forgot to add these. Oh, well, let's go add them now. Um, since I can't get that top one, we'll just do the bottom two. And I'm just going to grab my liquid glue here. Okay, one of these is more full than the other. Okay. Here's always something I forget to do. All right. Again, I don't follow directions well, so I don't even follow my own directions. All right. So there we go. I would have had one on the top, but now it's too late because I had glued that down. Uh, let's go ahead and get our cat on there, and then I'm going to show you how to color that ribbon. And then the card will pretty much be done. So I'm going to grab my dimensionals again. Now the cat is going to overlay the basket a little bit. It's going to overlap there. So I don't want to put any um, dimensionals over here. So I want to have one on the side. I'm going to put one down here. And one right here. All right. That way it'll pop up that kitten, but it won't make it too far off that card. All right. Okay, so there is our cat. Now I need the ribbon. And I just need my um, bling. So I've got my 2123 in color opal rounds. We're going to be using the um, pale papaya, which actually works out just fine on here. You could use one of the other colors as well, but that's what I'm going to be using. Let's get our ribbon and we're going to do some coloring. So now I've got my this is crinkle white ribbon and I'm going to go ahead and bring in my so saffron blend and you can see I started coloring this already so I'm going to take my brush side here and I am just going to basically color my cardstock color my ribbon now I like to use the blends you can use markers as well just note when you're using markers it's going to take a little longer to dry this will dry pretty quick because it is alcohol based and I'm going to go along and add a little bit more color. Sorry, my arm is kind of in the way there. But I need to hold that. Okay. There we go. And just give it a moment or two to dry. You don't want to get ink all over your hands. All right. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and just make a big floppy bow. When you color uh, your ribbon here, it does make it a little more stiff. So that's always kind of a, a helpful thing. So now I'm going to pull, make my, rib, my bow a little bit smaller. And I think I need to add just a little bit more color here. So let me bring back in my blend. There we go. All right. Let me bring in our snips here to cut our ribbon. All right. We'll bring back in our card. And I am just going to put it right back there. To make it easier on myself, I'm going to take a glue dot and put it in the back. So I'll grab my glue dot here. I'm going to take my take a pick tool to do this. All right. So here's my glue dot. Just lift it off with my take a pick tool. And just put that right on my cardstock right there. Come on. Oh, it didn't stick. Okay. I guess I'll put it on my bow. And then we'll just tuck that in right behind there, just like that. We're going to go ahead and add in our little bling here. So I'm going to have my take a pick tool and I'm going to add one up here, one here, and another one over here. Another one over here. Actually, I'm going to put this one here. There we go. I think that's good enough. I was going to add more, but I think I'll just stick with the three. All right. And then for the inside of the cards, let's go ahead and grab our inside. We can stamp a little something there, too. So I'm going to bring back in my um, flower. Now, one tip I want to have you, make sure that you do your stamping. If you're going to be using blends, do your stamping on the inside of your card before you adhere it. And that's really important because that can bleed through. So you want to make sure that you have it just on a piece of paper and then put it on your on the inside so in here again I'm just stamping up the flower and I'm just going to add I'm going to kind of angle this a little bit just like that go ahead and clean this real quick and we'll color that and then we'll be done with our card so that is our pretty to wow so we have one without our, I'll put my other one. So which do you like better? The one with the petal pink or the one with the white? I kind of like the white better. I'm going to show you a different way to color this one now. So this is still using that same Calypso Coral. I'm using the light this time. Right. And now I'm going to come back with the dark. And I'll just add in. Some color. I'll make that one dark. So I'm just kind of taking some of these um, petals that are like towards the back and coloring those in. They're kind of on the bottom. Kind of a little bit on the outsides. In here. All right. So we'll give a little more color here too. I'll come back in with my light and I'm just going to blend that all together. Again, doing this very quick just so I have a shorter video. Take some time and play with your blends. So they take a little getting used to, but just um, if you play with them, the more you use them, the easier it gets. I mean, they're not difficult to use. If you can color with crayon, you can color with the blend. Just saying. And I'm not going to worry about coloring in my, adding any depth to my leaves. I am just going to simply just use my old olive and get those colored in. So really to do these leaves, it's just really kind of a straight line. It's like one single stroke to do each leaf.
All right, and I'm almost done. All right. So now that will be the inside of my card. I'm going to go ahead and pull this in. I'll open it up. And I would have done the same um, card inside as my... Oh, you know, before I did that, I want to do one more thing. I'm going to grab in my uh, amazing year. And this says, enjoy your day. And I'm just going to put birthday wishes. So we'll grab our, so our soft suede. We'll grab our stamp pad, or our stamp and block. Stamp that right in the middle, just like that. There we go. And now the inside of our card is done. Voila. All right. So these are our cards for Hump Day Lunch Break Live. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, this one I actually did stamp a butterfly and actually put some of uh, Wink of Stella on there just for a little shine. You could definitely do that and add that in. So thanks for joining me today. Have a great rest of the week. Tomorrow night uh, is Farmer's Market on the My Stamp Studio page. Uh, this video will be uploaded to YouTube. And let's see. Uh, oh, today again is the last day for the Cheerful Basket class to go. So if you're interested in that, make sure you sign up today uh, so that I can get your class prepped and ordered. All right. Take care. Have a wonderful day.